This is the OpenSource.club, a free St. Louis-focused knowledge share podcast. Through industry experts, entrepreneurs, personal stories, and more, we provide the information you need to achieve and thrive. Always visit our website, theopensource.club, for more details. Contact us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. An April 2019 CNBC report says that women earn 79 cents for every dollar made by a man. This is the raw gender gap rate of pay that continues to widen over time. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, women not only earn less than men for the same work, but women's peak earning years is much earlier. There are lots of discriminatory reasons as to why women earn less than men. One cited reason is that because women are the primary caregivers, they bounce in and out of the job market and are unable to build consistent employment. I am your host, Bonita Cornude, and this is Money Mondays, a blue labor feature in partnership with the Labor Tribune. After this quick message, Dick Hewlett and I are going to talk an industry where women are finding equalization. As a proud supporter of the men and women who make this country great, Chuck's Boots is proud to offer the largest selection of American-made, union-made work boots in the Midwest. Over 70,000 pairs of boots in stock every day. Stop by today and see why Chuck's is the only place to go for all your work boot needs. Chuck's Boots, located in Fenton and St. Peter's, Missouri. Chuck's Boots, never leave. Dick, check this out. Payscale says that women not only earn less, but their peak earning age is younger than it is for a man. For college-educated men, their earning potential peaks at age 49. For college-educated women, their earning potential peaks at age 40. That's nine years earlier than men. I hear you. Women are required to get the same education levels and do the same work but we're still living in the 1950s when it comes to equal pay, except... Except what? Well, there's one industry that really does pay equally. I'm listening. That's the skilled labor industry. I've been reading about how women are entering the trades, but I didn't know that the skilled trades industry was actively recruiting them. Well, here are some of the facts according to a December 2018 Forbes article. 80% of construction firms in the United States are unable to fill openings with qualified applicants. Now, what this means to any woman who is tired of discriminatory pay or lack of advancement, very few benefits, the skilled trades industry might just offer the right opportunity. Aside from the fact that the skilled trade industry offers a lot of career choices, women only make up 1.2% of the total number of workers. I thought there were more women in the construction industry than 1.2%. A while ago, women sought design jobs in the industry, not to mention those managing the offices. If I include those women in the industry, the total is only 8%. Very few women are working as plumbers, carpenters, or electricians. Why not? Well, I read the answer is simple. A lot of women hadn't thought about the possibility, or if they did, they didn't think there were opportunities. Are construction firms actively recruiting women? They are. Construction firms and unions have outreach programs that target women. Women are in demand for literally every skilled trade job. In a minute, I'll give you a couple of examples. If your saving for retirement strategy involves the phrase, I'll get around to it someday, we need to talk. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Stephen Steele. When it comes to meeting your goals, time can be on your side. And there's no better time than now to get started toward your retirement goals. Stop by our office at 6451 Clayton Road or call 314-721-0773. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Who's actively recruiting women? Well, one of them is the Iron Workers. It's called Iron Workers Women. A structural ornamental iron worker fabricates and erects the structural steel framework of the pre-engineered metal buildings, stadiums, hospitals, towers, wind turbines, and bridges. Now, this job requires a physically fit person who is drug-free. Minimum requirements for an application are a high school diploma, or GED, must be proficient in math, have solid transportation, be a U.S. citizen, or a work visa. 
The apprentice program is two to five years. Trainees are paid while they're working. Now, the contact information for the Iron Workers Local here in St. Louis is on our website. All you have to do is go to www.theopensource.club. Another opportunity is the Painters District Council. The requirements are exactly the same as the Iron Workers. High school diploma or GED, drug-free, physically fit, must be a legal citizen, or have a work visa. Contact information for the Painters Apprentice Program is also on the website, www.theopensource.club. We've talked about the iron workers in a previous episode, but I had no idea about the Painters Council. Just goes to show that there is a lot of depth to the skills trade industry. Tell me about the wages. Well, like most jobs, the wages are based on skill, seniority, etc. But where women are concerned, it is equal pay for equal work. Seriously, the skilled trades industry can be a salvation for a lot of people. My disclaimer regarding the hourly rate is the variance of companies and their requirements. But plumbers, electricians, HVAC, mechanics, and the like are around $25 to $30 an hour. That's a $50,000 a year job. If it's a union job, it's more than likely it comes with some really great benefits, not to mention the possibility of overtime. At the time of this podcast recording, my neighborhood is overrun with Spire Energy workers. They are laying pipelines while the majority of the workers are men. I have noticed two or three women out there. Now, those women are working right next to the men. Three years ago, the construction industry launched a survey and found that there was a huge divide between men and women. The survey revealed that only 13% of women between the ages of 16 to 35 would consider a career in construction. The primary reason women didn't consider construction jobs was because they didn't know about the availability of jobs and they didn't think they would be accepted. Are women being afforded management jobs? They are. Remember, there aren't very many women in the industry, despite the fact that their numbers are small. When we come back, tell me about the job growth predictions. Chronic pain, sleep disorders, anxiety, depression, seizures, and more can be relieved with non-toxic, non-addicting, non-psychotropic CBD. Shop for medical-grade and organic edibles, tinctures, capsules, topicals, and pet products. The web address is cbdhealth.today. CBD does not contain THC, and it's legal in all 50 states. CBD is a powerful and healthy cannabis, just like medical marijuana. You don't need a prescription or license to shop online. The web address is cbdhealth.today. Regain your health naturally and safely. The web address is cbdhealth.today. As a proud supporter of the men and women who make this country great, Chuck's Boots is proud to offer the largest selection of American-made, union-made work boots in the Midwest. Over 70,000 pairs of boots in stock every day. Stop by today and see why Chuck's is the only place to go for all your work boot needs. Chuck's Boots, located in Fenton and St. Peter's, Missouri. Chuck's Boots, never leave. The Bureau of Labor Statistics forecast double-digit job growth for the skilled trades industry. Because baby boomers are retiring in rapid numbers, replacement workers are desperately needed. Now, this means that right now there is a tremendous need for plumbers, electricians, painters, glazers, carpenters, mechanics, truck drivers, machine operators, and a host of others. As we publish more Blue Labor podcast episodes, we will update the website with more job information. So check the site on a regular basis. The address, www.theopensource.club. The forecast for construction laborers is scheduled to be up to 1.3 million workers. A skilled trades career means equal pay for the work. The future financial possibilities are far greater than so many other occupations. HVAC technicians, welders, electricians offer higher earning potentials in less time than the perceived traditional route to success. The job opportunities in the skilled trades for women is endless. The government has provided grants for many businesses to actively recruit and train women for the once male-dominated jobs. Imagine what you can do with an additional $20,000 this year. That's how much more an electrician makes than an administrative assistant. A skilled trades job can accommodate families. In many occupations, workers tend to enjoy autonomy and flexibility. Do your research and consider what might be available for you. 
This might be what you need to gain a strong financial footing. I'm your host, Bonita Cornute. Dick and I thank you for listening to another Blue Labor episode in partnership with the Labor Tribune. Thank you for listening to the OpenSource.club podcast. Become a subscriber through RSS or YouTube. There's more to come that you won't want to miss. Our name is our web address, theopensource.club.